Hi. Your name is Libra. Hello, Libra. Welcome to your horoscope. <laughs> okay, so let's talk about this North Node action thing. I really like my Vedic teachers, the Jyotishis. What they talk about is um, the North and South Node. They refer to them as Rahu and Ketu. So Rahu is in Libra, Vedic, Virgo. And, um, you know, there's a strong desire. It's this desire to somehow make money. And the thing that happens with this, you know, so we can enjoy our, our Libra and luxuries. This is one way of explaining it in Western astrology. Um, we have no bottom. We have no container because there's no bottom to the North Node. And in the South Node, there's only a bottom. There's no head directing it. So we don't, we know what we want, but we're willing to sometimes take shortcuts to get it, which can sometimes turn us into awful people like Jabba the Hutt and Star Wars um, and some really famous military officials and leaders from my own country that have like, you know, warrants out for the arrest in other countries. Um, <laughs> and it's shameful, you know, I mean, the whole thing is really shameful because these are very, very, very powerful people. And there is no real sense of, of humility, of accountability. And eventually you're going to have to face that. So it's like right now, Libra, what I say to you is, do you have accountability for what you desire? You know, that's a big question. And if so, then by what is your plan once you succeed this goal? What good for the universe will you do once you have it? Okay. So you're, you know, obsessed with creative works in some ways. Right now you're a little more introspective. Your home life, your family life, that's what really means a lot. That's what Capricorn is. But you've also been kind of like the red hot lover too. I mean, most, a lot of Librans are pretty good looking people. And since we're in the middle of the zodiac, as far as between Aries and, you know, and Pisces goes, they're right dab smack in the middle. They're kind of like, oh, we can play all sides, you know, <laughs> you know, and that's a wisdom. It's an air sign, so they're really intelligent. But the thing is, is that you have to come up with a moral equivalent of justice. Ooh, those scales are in the balance. Yeah. So, um, getting better health. Love because it's fun and be really clear about why you do what you do. Don't keep people second guessing because that makes them think you're a nicer person. Nice people are losers for one thing, okay? No. Being nice and kind is, is beautiful, but when you do it disingenuously, you do a disservice to yourself and others. <laughs>